Okay, so in this video, I wanted to shoot uh, two different pellets to see the penetration, see the difference between penetration. So the first one is this flathead. Uh, it's called, uh, like my gun's brand is called Norica. And so these pellets came from Norica with this uh, combo kit, but they're flathead. See how they're flatheads? This is a 22 caliber. And so um, it's a flathead Norica pellet. And then the other one is a Crossman pointed. You see that the pointed on the Crossman, it's not like super pointed, but it's, it's, uh, it's kind of a rounded pointed, but apparently from tests I've seen online, they fly the best. They fly really, really well and they're really accurate. So I guess we'll see uh, uh, the difference in penetration. I have a plastic bottle. It's a, it's one of those uh, ocean spray packed bottles. They're really like thick plastic, um, thicker than regular water bottles. And we'll see how these guys perform. And uh, we'll be shooting out of a Norica Titan. So let's, right there, that's the name. Norica Titan. And that's their junior, uh, their junior pellet gun. It's a 22 caliber and because in Canada, well, at least in my part of Canada, Manitoba, um, you need a license if you get any kind of uh, a pellet gun that's over 495 feet per second. So most of the time, people have like junior junior rifles because they they don't want to have to get a license just to have a pellet gun to kill like mice and birds and stuff. So, but uh, yeah, I found that this is a really really well built gun. And it's very powerful. And uh, and it came with a kit. It came with a gun. It came with a scope, which I removed. And it came with uh, flathead pellets and this case. And it was like uh, 200 bucks, which is not a good deal <laughs> for a pellet gun. It's actually expensive. But it's a cool brand. It's from Spain and everything. Okay, let's see the test. Okay, so that was the flathead. Let's see how she shot. It hit the outside of this bottle. This is a really, really hard plastic, actually. This packed bottle, I don't know. But obviously, it didn't go, th it didn't penetrate the back. And I don't know where the pellet went. I don't know if it went inside. I think it did, so let's check it out. No, I don't think it did go inside, actually. Let's see. No, I think it bounced off, actually. Okay, so that's how hard this plastic is. This, hard, this plastic is hard enough to make the flathead bounce. So now let's see what the pointed does. Okay, crossman pointed. Same plastic, same gun, same everything, okay? Let's do it. Okay. Let's see. Okay, that's the hit, and I see some uh, water coming out of the hit. So in other words, I de definitely think that it did break through. Oh, it looks like, yeah, it, it did go through and it did hit the back of the plastic. So it went through here, hit the back right here on this, right here, I could feel it. And then there's the pellet right there. So the crossman definitely has way stronger penetration than uh, flathead, and that's obvious, but I just wanted to prove it. So now I know if I shoot at a wild turkey, he'll feel it more if I give him a pointed. Okay, cool. See you later.